Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you're having a blessed day. Now if you guys saw my latest video, I was talking about how I was building a team and that I needed you guys' huddle link to do so. And so I know that a lot of you guys are confused, but let me explain what I'm doing. I went to you guys' huddle link and looked at your stats as well as a little bit of your highlight, and I took that information and went and made you guys in Madden. So I have a full team of my subscribers. That's right, you guys' height, your weight, I try to get as many of you guys' the actual jersey numbers as I possibly could. Guys, I try to make this as realistic as possible. And like I said, I watched all of you guys' highlight tapes about like 30 seconds to a minute of it to see what kind of player you are. Are, and I edited and created exactly how I think that your play style is in Madden. So I didn't just create a crazy strong team, I made a pretty balanced team. And guys, I just have to say before we get into this game, guys, me, me as Coach Sharp, I have, I'm super grateful to Sharp Life and Marcus because yo, he allowed me to advertise a little bit on this channel to help get as many of you guys onto my team. So hey, just go leave this video a like and also go subscribe to him because he, just, he deserves it. And because this is a new series, I want to get some feedback from you guys. So. I want to I want to be rotating the players in. I just don't know how often. I want to do it in about three weeks and start switching up the team so I can get as many of you guys into the Madden team as possible. But just let me know, comment down below how often you think I should be switching up the teams so that it would best be whatever you guys like. All right, but enough of me talking. Let me introduce you guys to today's team. So I just want you guys to know that real quick, these are not the set in stone depth chart. Basically, I just went and created everyone and I gave them a backup just so that we can constantly be getting players in and out. So just because we got my man Mario Jones starting at QB, that does not mean that my man Javadrice Jackson is not going to be getting a ton of playing time as well. It's just, I just, there needed to be starters and there need to be backups, but I'm going to constantly be rotating you guys in. Because if you guys can't make plays, I'm going to have to get the next guy up. And also, if the next guy is just making plays just in general, they're gonna, I'm going to have to get that, that playing time. Everyone's going to have to get that break. But with that being said, like I said, we got my man Mario Jones as a starting QB. And then we got my man Javadrice Jackson backing him up. So we're looking good at the quarterback position. Next up at RB, we got my man Dexter Brown. If you guys don't know who this is, you might have seen him in some of the live streams. He is literally, and I use the word literal in a very literal word, he is literally my fastest subscriber. And so because of that, he gets the 99 speed, the 99 acceleration. I mean, like, I'm not joking. He literally is my fastest subscriber. But backing him up, we got my man Hope at a bio, who's, he's no slouch child. He's got the 93 speed, 95 acceleration. And again, I'm not overly boosting these guys. Like, these guys legit are this talented and this fast, so. I, I'm not, no one's super buffed, I mean, he's got 99 overall speed, but he's only an 85. I wasn't, like, I made sure that these guys are actually their overall ranking. And next up, we got my man Robbie Larson at that fullback position. You know, that, that position that, it's next up at wide receiver, we, we got some options. We got my man Michael Zagrandi, who, he, I'm going to be looking at him to be giving me a ton of plays. Then we got Jake Leeper, we got Bobby Whitley, we got my man Gavin Fontaine. And then you know it couldn't be a YouTube, you know it couldn't be a YouTube team without my man Ramel Dockery. I did make him a little bit better. I mean, the dude, he's got 99 catching, he's got 99 spec catch. So I mean, like, I, I couldn't have him as the starter. So he's going to be our fifth string. He's going to be coming in when the starters get tired to give us a little bit of a boost. But yeah, I, I, come on. I mean, if it's going to be a YouTubers team, we got to we got to add the man Dockery in there. At tight end, we got my man Brian Weeks. And guys, I actually do need another tight end. I do not have a backup for Brian. So. If you're a tight end and you want to be in this series, be sure to leave your name, your position, as well as a link to your huddle page, and I potentially might add you into this team. Moving on to our starting left tackle, who I also need another left tackle. So if you're left tackle, same thing. Name, position, link to your huddle, and I'm going to add you into the team. But right now, our only left tackle that we have on the team is Jerry Aragon, who he's going to have to hold down that left side because, you know, as a quarterback, I like to move the ball downfield, so, you know, we got we to gotta get that time. At left guard, we got my man James Nespol, and backing him up, we got my man Ethan LaCour. At center, we got my man Cannon Yarrow, who he's going to be holding down the snaps, making sure that every snap is being clean. And at right guard, we got my man Alex Hamrick, who, you know, he's going to be holding down that right guard position. And backing him up, we got my man Anthony Walker. And at right tackle, we got my man Jacob Stearns, who, you know, hey, when we got my man Jim Vadris in there, he's a left-handed quarterback, so he's going to have to hold down that right side when we got him in. Next up at left end, we got my man Iritunde, Akinsola, and Micah Yakum, who I'm be, they, they need to get out of that QB, so hopefully they'll be able to do that. And at right end, we got my man Jalen Jackson, as well as Tyler Rea, who, again, I, I'm going to need pressure off those edges, but we do we do got some solid ballers out there, so I, I, my defense, I'm not too worried about. There was a lot of good and very good defensive players that you guys sent in, so I see you. At defensive tackle, we got my man Zachary Gamelin, as well as Josh Cohen. So they'll, they'll be making sure that that middle 
just gets absolutely stuffed. At left outside linebacker, we got my man Elijah Sorio. Middle linebacker, we got my man Michael Rios. And on the outside, we got my man Aiden Schwartzer, who that, that linebacker core, hey, I'm going to be using all of them. So, hey, you, you're going to need to make some plays for me. You, you really are. If you, I, I could be switching you guys out real quick. So, make sure to be on top of your game. And at quarterback, we got my man Robert Johnson. We got Demillion Sims. We got Jaden Savage. And we got Caden Harbaugh, who all are going to be holding down that secondary and making sure that it's a no-fly zone. And, guys, yo, the safety that you guys sent me, these, these dudes are two of the highest ranked players that I made because they're truly some savages. We got my man Kanata Gaskins who is just an absolute powerhouse. I mean, dude's got 89 speed, 90 acceleration, dude's got 85 awareness, I mean, well, 86 catching, 90 hit power. I mean, what more can you ask from for your free safety? And then we go from him to Chaz Ayu, who is 87 overall. I mean, this dude's got 85 speed, 88 acceleration, 89 awareness, dude's got 89 hit power, and 88 pursuit. I mean, these two safeties are legit animals. And then backing him up, we got my man Owen Cintron, who, he, hey, he's no slouch either. He's gonna come in there, he's gonna be laying the boom, and he's gonna be just being a straight up ball hawk. And just like with my man Dockery, obviously this could not be a YouTuber team without the man destroying. So obviously in the kicking game, we got my man Donald Dilla, hey, who, you know, he's got the 99 kick power, 99 kick accuracy, I mean, 90 speed, like, we, we, we can't really be sleeping on him. I mean, the dude is a legit athlete at that punter position, so. Our, our, our kicking game is, is good beyond lock. All right, but now that I've introduced you guys to the team, now it's time to show you what they can really do on the field. It's time to see if these subscribers, if they're just a bunch of average Joes, or if we can really build a dynasty out of this team. And the first opponent up that we got is the Seahawks. And so, you know, we're we gonna, we gonna have to come out here, and we, we're gonna have to be a little bit drippy, you know what I'm saying, I mean. We, let, let's get these let's get these color rush uniforms going. I mean, we looking saucy, but you see, here's the trick. You got to switch up the helmet because you see, obviously we got we got our orange Bronco hat going on. So you know, we have to bust it back to the back to the nah yeah the 75th anniversary. We got the all orange drip. Let's get it. And one one second, I, I got to show you guys that I'm not messing around. This ain't just no. We're not we're not playing no games. This is on all Madden. So you guys just don't think I'm just playing a little all all pro or pro no we, we got the all madden going so obviously we getting real challenges out here so don't don't be playing me like i really ain't about that life all right so to start off this game hey guys we, we gotta we gotta get the headset on we gotta gotta make sure that we can talk to our our the rest of our team make sure that we're getting all the plays in so all right starting the game off we're gonna be kicking it off all right let's start off the season Seahawks, not an easy team. It'd be a great no win to get off, camp, no get the season off to an early start. Got man destroying. There should be no kicks returned this whole season. I mean, my man destroying. He's, he's got the leg. Every every kick should be for a touch that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Hopefully this isn't run up the middle because right now the middle of the middle of our field is pretty open. Wilson now to throw on third down. Or just a pass up the middle. Okay. As a defense, we're going to have to definitely go back to the drawing board, but you know what? Don't worry. Let's get our offense out there and we'll show them what's up. We get the ball back at half, so all we have to do is just come back to the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Excellent okay, so we left a couple plays out on the field, the but you know what? I, I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about the defense. We had some nice stops, and you know what? All, all I needed them to do was just to do it. In other words, next time we'll, we'll hold them to a field goal or less. Game film to work oh, let's get it. Let's get Langley. The first drive of the season. Things could be entirely different than okay, what you've seen in the past. See you, I see you. really good job of execution, but back to Denver right after this. A reminder coming up at the half. We hook up with a new guy, Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis. And more importantly, this year, scores and stats from around the league here in week one. So do not press oh, that skip. There is a screen. A screen pass. That's they, they came with back-to-back -back screens. Okay, I was not expecting that. Most teams, most teams, they don't really do back-to-back -back screens like that. All right, defense, we got to... We gotta be on the lookout for screens. They're, they're all over the place right now with their offense. A lot of control. things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small right, thing to go wrong and keep it Actually. from being a big game. Now Wilson on second down. Ooh, I need you to get out. Oh man, who, who is 23? He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get down complete. Hey bro, I need you. I, if I have you out there in the flat. I need you and to Mark cover the flat, bro. We can't, we can't be doing that. Because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. 
So even right. though he caught send him on a blitz, and I think they're just going to try and just pick up this is third pick and the first. One. So. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Wilson will throw again. What? And this is complete. It's Marshall. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks add on. Yo, their the million lead. Sims, bro. And correct me if we, I'm we gonna have to have a word. Fly route, wasn't it? I, no, we gonna, we gonna have to have a word with that, bro. And I just remember as a player. You can't, you can't be, nah, sessions. you can't be just completely bailing on, on your, from the receivers. your coverage, bro. Like, that's your man. There's, there's no safety up over top. Come on, bro. We gotta be better than that. For the touchdown. And this will not hurt you. You need to make some. Right people back make some happen. Throwing again. Jones. And an incomplete. We're struggling out here. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much Let's success on the offense. scoreboard. We need, the we need of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. On third down, Jones. Oh, what a dime! Let's go! What a throw! What a throw! Mario, that's what I'm talking about. When I need you to make big plays, that is what I'm talking about. Who, who caught that? Le Jake Leeper? That's what I'm talking about, boy. Let's get it. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Making plays. I like my team so far. I like what we're doing. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open. We need to be knocking that out. First down. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver. Before Is there a Michael Villas? Ah. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. It's just seeing our game right now. Seahawks. A great effort there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Always important to get the first All right, down 21-0. Man, man. To pull away a little first, bit. first game as a head coach, man. I feel like John, John Green right now. <laughs> Of the group that's behind because they Yo, can are we get it, can getting we get into the, the game a little bit more, right? Please? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks all right. We still got out to the All right. Okay. Well, so far, our offense after they didn't get it. Does it really not matter? really been there? Really so far, our defense had to go and hasn't really been there. We're definitely gonna be. We're gonna need to make a ton of changes this this uh this week going into the next week. If we're going to want to see any improvements at all. Like we, we just have gaping holes in both our offense and our defense. Line. Guys can either just run straight through to get a bunch of yards, or we got DNs coming through and absolutely laying us. Like we, we can't, we have no front of the middle. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the offensive line, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those Because we've had flashes. We've had good flashes where, you know, our team came out and they balled out. But you know what? So far, that just ain't it. For first. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling. So they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward. And they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Okay, I'll take the play. And the play clock is going to run out here. Do I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And Janikowski bangs it through, and that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. So it's three more points, and that widens the right, let, Let's just try and put some points up on the board. We can't get shut out at home. You can never have enough points. We, this we, we got to save some space coming out of here, all right? A real threat. This is third and long. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And he'll be a couple so yards shy of the red zone. Let's here get this ball back, even if it's for a little bit. Let's get this ball back. Nine seconds remaining. And they won't run a play here. No victory formation. They will indeed try to get three more. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. Turn and it does feel like settling when that happens, Come on, man. Doesn't it? it certainly does, but we... Man, let's just hope for the best. One final shot. They'll look to throw it. Yeah, right, right now. Set up the screen. That's complete. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call the. But the best All right, well that was that was a pretty rough game. game. Let's look at the stats. An entire season, we get into the playoffs. So Russell Wilson, he just tore us apart. I mean, he only had one incompletion the whole game. 164 yards, two touchdowns, no INTs. Mario, but you were put in some situations that, as a quarterback, I don't think any quarterback would have been able to, start, to be successful in, so can't really knock you too much. Uh, couldn't really get the run game going at all. I mean, blocking just really wasn't there. What, what do we have? Yeah, we had two, one sack allowed so by, by the left tackle. Cool. Can't be having that. Right. Receiving-wise, we'll you, you, had, you, had nice, you had a couple nice catches, but overall, we need to get the rest of the team. We need to get the rest of the team going. Yo, Robbie, we can't be dropping those. Those are conversion-making catches, bro. We, we, we got to be doing better. All right, thank you, everybody, for joining me. But uh, as you guys can see, we have a lot of work to do, so we only have time for three questions. So, uh, uh, starting off with the, you in the back, yes. Why wasn't your team able to come out and perform? Why weren't we able to get uh, anything really going? Um, I mean, we're a new team. Uh, obviously, I need to do better. I take full responsibility for this loss. Uh, I mean, I, we had guys in positions that I, I was the one that messed it up. So, obviously, there's things that I need to improve on. But we also need... We need to come together as a team. I mean, I'm a new coach, so we still have some things of bonding that we need to get together. But overall, I'm super positive about the future. Uh, yeah, see you in the back. What area do you want to address first, the offense or the defense? Um, both sides definitely need work, but the main thing I'm focusing on is the offense. There was plays where our defense, there were times where our defense was making plays, but it seemed like we just couldn't get anything going on offense. So offense is definitely something that we're going to be working on moving forward for next week. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, you're all the way in the back. How do you plan to get the win over the Raiders next week? Uh, getting ready for the Raiders. Well, obviously that's a division rival, so that's always going to be a tough game. Uh, we're going to game plan extremely well. We're going to go back into the we're gonna go into the throne room. We're going to look at what we can improve on in offense and in defense. Because uh, obviously we didn't do so for, for the Seahawks. So, yeah, we're just going to overall come together. We're going to do better. And we're going to be ready for the Raiders next week. All right, everyone, thank you for coming to this interview. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. Obviously, we did not get the result that we wanted, but hopefully you guys were entertained watching this video. So if you were, please share this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on those notifications, and I will catch you guys in the next game. Ciao.